Returning now to Greater Sydney's lockdown and the founder of Jim's Mowing is calling on the government to immediately remove a rule which forces all non-urgent outdoor maintenance to be paused. Jim Penman says his workers pose no risk to public safety and we're pleased to say he joins us now from Victoria. Jim, good morning to you. Um, you've written a fiery letter to the New South Wales Premier. There are a lot of small businesses in this same boat. Why have you written that from Victoria? Because our services, somebody working alone on site, makes no difference at all to public health. We do not carry any risk of infection. Look, we support, strongly support, reasonable measures. Yes, understand restaurants, understand public gatherings, churches, fine. But a person mowing a lawn, building a fence, washing a dog outside by themselves, zero risk to the public, and they should be allowed to operate. Agree. Have you had any response at this stage? Are you expecting some? Well, I'm hoping for some. Listen, I mean, I mean, Gladys is this, is... this is a Liberal government. It's supposed to be in tune with small business. If Daniel Andrews in Victoria can get the balance right, and he has this time, then why can't she? Why can't the New South Wales government? Look, to, to oppose that um, devil's advocate here, from a health perspective, we know how quickly the Delta strain can spread, and the whole idea in New South Wales is yes. to stop the movement of people because that stops the spread of the virus. Um, do, you, do you agree with that, some of that? Mm. Oh, yes, yes, I'm totally in favour. I, mean, I, I miss being, not being able to go to restaurants or go to church, these kind of things, of course. I accept that because these present real risks. But a loan operator by themselves does not. It's absolutely clear. I follow all the infections. Have you ever heard of anybody who's actually got mm. infected that way? They don't. Even, even running some past somebody when you're having exercise, you can, you can pass the Delta infection. It's very bad. But not if you're completely by yourself. And we're also seeing, too, that there's been um, no community transmission outdoors between people. But you've got something like a 1,000 franchisees in New South Wales alone. What are they telling you and how long can they, can they cop this ban for? Well, look, the government's going to provide funding, but it's not just about money. It's, I mean, we we mm. believe in what we do. We offer a great service to the public. People have a sense of purpose in their lives, of being out there doing something useful. We don't want to be funded by taxpayers. We don't need to be. We should be working. We do not present a danger to health, not any danger at all. Look, there's, there's some odd things going on. I mean, we, we featured a, a business, a blinds business in country Victoria earlier on in our mm. show, and she pointed out, and it's rightly so, um, that brothels in Victoria are, are getting more money than smaller businesses um, from the state government. I mean, th there, oh. is, there are some odd discrepancies going on. I don't know how you sort through those discrepancies. Do you have any ideas? Well, look, basically it should be based on health advice. It really should be what is the danger of infection. Let's stop the things that convey a danger of infection. I'm totally in favour. I'm in favour of vaccinations. I'm in favour of distancing. I'm in favour of all reasonable things. Masks, I'm even wearing one. It's yeah. not on to show that we do believe in this kind of stuff. Mm. But let's not stop the things that present zero problems. That's the, it's just a matter of balance. If mm. Daniel Andrews has got it right, if Victoria's got it right, why can't New South Wales? And look, you have praised um, Gladys Berejiklian throughout this and how she's handled lockdowns and outbreaks, what have you. But Jim, I mean, I just sort of almost feel despondent that I feel we were having this conversation with you last year and the fact that we are having it again yeah. in July 2021. It's just, it's bleak, isn't it? Oh, it's very bleak. And the trouble is people follow New South Wales too. Like South Australia is doing the same s stupid policies. Why can't we learn from this? Why can't we listen to the experts? Why can't we go by the best advice on health? Why do we have to crash? It's not just about my franchisees. There's tens of thousands of people who are offering these services throughout New South Wales. They're affected too. They've lost their livelihood. They've lost their sense of purpose in life. Why are they being shut down? There's no reason. Well, I guarantee you they'll be standing up in their seats watching us this morning and absolutely cheering you on. Uh, Jim, mm. they're, they're important questions and ones that we need to seek answers for. Thank you, mate.